The following portion of the Arizona Daily Mix is sponsored on behalf of cars.com by the broadcast experts. Looking to buy a car this year, but not sure what the best affordable options are out there? Cars.com just released its 2024 affordability report, and earlier this week, I talked with Steph Schrader, Cars.com's news editor, who's sharing some vehicles that have the best bang for the buck, along with expert car buying tips. Good morning, Steph. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Okay, so let's jump right into the affordability report. Tell us what it is and what shoppers need to know. So Cars.com's affordability report is all about getting the best bang for your buck. Not necessarily finding the bare bones, absolute cheapest cars in the market, but the ones that are really well-rounded that, you know, won't make you feel like you're cheaping out or buying a penalty box. We focused on cars that have a lot of features, like particularly safety items that are proven to prevent collisions, as well as comfort and convenient, convenience items that people really want. Okay, so what is going on with the market? I mean, what should shoppers know? So new car inventory is starting to rebound. Average new car prices have dipped below 50,000 for the first time in a very long time. And a lot of that growth has been in cars that cost $30,000 or less. In fact, half of our affordability report is cars that are under 30K. So you've got a lot more inventory on the lots. Automakers are a lot more willing to offer incentives and deals to kind of move that inventory. And you just have a lot more room to bargain this year. Oh, well, that's really good news for anybody who's shopping for a car. But give us some details about new cars. I mean, what is going to be the best bang for your buck? So the most affordable car on our list is the Kia Forte. It clocks in just under $22,000. Um, but we know we offer several different categories, different kinds of cars as well, because we know not everybody is looking for a compact sedan. So we also highlighted the Nissan Kicks as kind of a fun, funky little small SUV. It's just over 22000 And, you know, for buyers looking for a pickup, there's the Ford Maverick. That was one of our favorite picks on the list. It's just a little over twenty-seven k. I love that you have multiple different kinds of cars on there so that people who are looking, you know, for instance, I just got an SUV. And so that would be really helpful mm -hmm. to have those multiple different options. But in terms of just shopping for a car in general, what are some good car buying tips? So you want to do your homework first. Don't go in unprepared. You need to know your needs, not just now, but look at, you know, the next seven to 10 years. Are you starting to look at you know, starting a family, are you, do you have things that you like to tow, things like that. And you want to look at total cost of ownership, not just a monthly budget, you know, things like fuel cost. Um, and then you need to kind of plan ahead because taking out a smaller loan right now can really help alleviate some of the interest rate anxiety and score you a lower interest rate. So Maybe go with a more affordable car or save up a little bit before you hit the dealerships. Those are some great tips, Steph. I love that. And so we talked a little bit about the new cars. What about used cars, people who are looking more in the used car world? So while the new car inventory is starting to rebound, we haven't quite seen that happen with used inventory yet. They're skewing a bit more high mileage, a little bit older, um, which is Great news if you have a low mile recent year trade in because it's worth a lot more money right now. But if you're shopping for a used car, you might find that inventory isn't quite what you might be used to. Um, either way, it's still a great way to find a deal and, you know, always get it checked out by a mechanic if you can to kind of rule out any big problems. And, you know, as with a new purchase, go in, know your budget, know your needs, and Find what you, a car that you really love. Again, these are some great tips. It's all about going in prepared and having done your own personal research beforehand. So, Steph, tell everybody where they can find more information about the affordability report. We're at cars.com slash news, and we've got all kinds of tools that can help you find exactly the right car for your needs. Nice and easy. All right, Steph, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. The preceding portion of the Arizona Daily Mix was sponsored on behalf of Cars.com by the broadcast experts.